Good morning ladies and gents. We're going to have a look at today some BTEC Level 3 Applied Science for Unit 8 using Statistics for Science. And we're going to look at the curve fitting and regression part of that unit. We're going to start with a fish. And we're going to measure the length of these fish. And we're also going to measure the mass that goes with each fish. Okay. So we've got two variables. We've got the mass and the length. And here we go, the mass in grams down here, and the length in centimetres down here. And we're going to ask ourselves, is there a relationship between mass and length? Now, I guess if we look at the numbers, we might conclude that as we go from 300 to 1,000, from 300 grams to a kilogram, the length has actually got bigger. So maybe we would conclude that as the fish get heavier, they get longer. Or the other way around, as they get longer, they get heavier. So let's try and address this by drawing a graph. So I'm going to highlight the data and I'm going to go across to insert and I'm going to insert a scatter graph because I've got two independent variables and I'm going to choose the scatter graph that's just points, no lines between the points. And Excel will automatically draw that graph. Now I'm going to go through Excel and tidy up as I go along. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the legend which says length and press delete. I'm going to get rid of it because there's only one set of data so I know that those data points correspond to, to length and mass. As we go through we're going to label things because at the moment we've just got two sets of numbers and okay I know this one along here is the mass because it's going up into big numbers hundreds and thousands whereas the length only went to 100 but it will help me immensely if now I'm in the chart tools and I go layout and I'm going to do axis titles horizontal axis is the one along the bottom so title below the axis and I'm going to write mass in grams and click on the tick and I'm going to do the same thing again and click on the chart and go layout axes vertical axes and I'm going to do the rotated one because that's the style I like and I'm going to type in length oops can't spell well length in centimeters and click on the tick so I now know it's quite clear what I've got. I've got a graph that shows me the mass along the bottom on the x-axis and the length in the y-axis. I'm going to edit the title to say length of fish. Now this happens to be a sea bass. So I'm going to do mass in grams and length in centimetres for sea bass. Okay. So now I've got some indication of how this works. So there's my chart. And clearly it shows in mass what you'd call a positive correlation, that as you increase the mass, the length increases. But we're doing level 3, A-level equivalent science, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and fit a straight line through those points that best represents them. Now if you were doing this in a science lesson, at GCSE, you'd just get your ruler, wouldn't you? And you'd try and find a line that went through those points that fitted them as best as you possibly can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of the points and then right click and select add trend line. And a dialog box will appear and we're going to select linear because we just want to fit a straight line. And I'm also going to select display equation on the chart and display r squared on the chart. I'll tell you what those mean in a minute. We're going to make the line a solid line and we're going to make it red just so I can tell the difference. And I'm actually going to make the style of the line a bit heavier, let's make it three points. And I'm going to click on close. And you'll see a number of things. You will see that Excel has fitted a red line through the data points and it's put some numbers. I'm going to click on those numbers and just drag them away over there just so we can see the line by itself. So first things first, that line is the line that best represents all of those data points. If you work out the difference between the points and the line, and add them all up, this is the line that gives you the least difference, it's closest to naught, it's the line that best goes through those data points. And there's some numbers that Excel produce. It produces an equation, y equals 0.0954x take away 1.3571. What on earth that means is that we can predict the length, because the length is y, we can predict the length of a fish by using this 0.0954x, and x is the mass. 
So we've linked the length and the mass together with this equation, and it allows us to predict, given the mass of a fish, how long the fish would be. Yeah. So if we just go and take a fish and we weigh its mass, we, we calculate its mass, we would be able to work out the length of the fish using this equation. Now, underneath it, there's this value called r squared, and this r squared value tells you how well that equation fits the data. And again, just like the t-test, we're going to view this as a percentage, so we're going to say it's 90% good. This line, 90%, represents the relationship between mass and length. Yeah? Anything above, anything above about 60-70% is good enough for us to start using this line. Okay, But what this is telling us is that I can be 90% certain that if I use this equation, it allows us to predict between mass and length. So in this case, I could get rid of all of my data points. Okay, I'm going to click on a data point. I'm going to click on Format. And this time, I'm going to make the Mark Options None. Take all the points away. And we've just got a line. So if we never had the data, that line is generated from that equation, and it's 90% good at being used for predictions. So I can get rid of all of the data and just use that equation. I can say that the length of these fish equals 0.0954 times the mass of the fish, take away 1.3571. All sounds very complicated, but actually it's really easy. And if you think back to mass, that's an equation in the format of y equals mx plus c. Okay, So right now, that is how you use Excel to fit a line between some data and then calculate how good that line is. There will be more on this later. Thank you.